How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here bringing you guys another awesome Yokai Watch Blasters Tips and Tricks tutorial video. This video is going to show you everything you need to know about evolution and fusion within the game. We're going to show you guys all the Yokai that evolve through those methods. It's going to be a great one. So sit tight as you guys are going to learn how to do all this fun stuff in order to fill up your Yokai Watch Medallium. As you guys can see over here, we've already filled out our Medallium. It's looking pretty good, and I love the fact that so many people love filling up their Medallium too. Like, getting that sweet 100% is so, so awesome. So, by the end of this video, you're gonna learn three main ways of evolution, and of course, I'm gonna provide tips and tricks on how to obtain each of the items necessary to do so. The very first thing that you want to do is learn how to evolve through level up. As you guys can see over here if you go to the level gym over with naked speed and you bring any yokai over there you can level them up accordingly if you keep on throwing oni orbs into any of the yokai you'll absolutely see that it says dimmy can now evolve now if you keep on playing through the game you'll have access to the evolve functionality within Naked Speed right over here. If you don't have that functionality for Yokai Evolution, keep on playing the game, beat the end of the game, and you'll be all set. So all you have to do is click on that next Yokai that's ready for evolution in that separate menu, and then you'll see over here that they are good to go. You have a brand new Yokai, and you can nickname them. You can take a look at all their uh, fun nicknames. But anyway, what we're gonna do right now is we're going to show you guys every single Yokai that evolves through Level Up. Enjoy.
So now that you've seen all the yokai that evolved through level up, let's take it a step further and take a look at every single yokai that evolve through fusion with another yokai. For our example over here, we're gonna take Cupistal and we're gonna take Dazabel and fuse those two together in order to get a brand new yokai. So, like I said earlier, make sure you guys beat the game so that you have the ability to do all this. And of course, enjoy your brand new yokai that you fuse together. So let's take a look at every single yokai that evolved through fusion with another one. Alright, now things get a little bit more interesting. We're going to show you guys all the yokai that fuse with a particular item. As you guys can see, if you press the R button, you'll head over to the next tab that shows all your fusion items. For our example over here, we're gonna grab Hide a Bat and the comfy closet that we've earned, and we're gonna fuse those together to get our brand new Aboda Bat. Now, a lot of these fusion items are going to be relatively hard to get. So, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to grab a majority of those items so that you guys can go through and make sure that every single one of your yokai can evolve to help fill up your medallion accordingly. Now, case in point, what you want to do right off the bat is take a look at your Krankakai. If you take a look at your Krankakai and whatever generic coins you guys have, you may have the lucky ability to get some of the fusion items as a first prize. As you guys can see, it says today's catalog, so make sure you guys log in every day, take a look at your cranks, and then try your luck with that. The more surefire way of getting evolution items in the game is to take a look around at the requirements for all of these boss battles in boss rush. As you guys can see over here, Ogreless gives the gigahertz orb, Super Orcanos can drop the curse journal, and simply put, just take a look at every single one of these requirements for regular, super, and ultra, and you'll be able to see exactly which yokai bosses drop what. Certain cases, just like Ultra Sprank over here, if you have four members of Red Cat Core or White Dog Squad, you're going to get that special prize on top. So keep that in mind, take a look through all your boss battles, and enjoy the evolutions. Thank you. 
Our next section of evolution requires the essence of evil as a fusion item. Now, simply put, if you have the lucky crank available by beating the game, of course, chapter 11, and you get some lucky cranky guy coins, you can be lucky enough to drop one of those out of there. So, let's take a look at those wicked fusions. Last but not least, we have the local yokai. Now, every single one of these yokai are going to be locked behind passwords. So make sure that you guys are all up to date on following Yokai Watch official channel on all of their social media so you guys can get all of their regional coins to unlock the yokai and of course the passwords for every single one of their fusion items. You guys already know how to input passwords. Talk to Steppa and go from there. So enjoy the fusions of the local yokai. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, all of the yokai fusions and evolutions in Yokai Watch Blasters. What did you guys think? Let me know which one of these yokai is definitely your favorite. And I want to give a quick shout out to all of you guys in the Yokai Watch community. You guys are absolutely amazing, especially those of you guys in my Discord that totally help out with yokai trades and touch trades in order to 100% this medallion. You guys are great. So if you guys like what you saw over here, definitely hit that subscribe button to be updated on the latest and greatest yokai watch content. You'll also see some very cool yokai watch playlists on screen for even more tips and tricks videos and let's plays for yokai watch. Thanks for watching and if this video helped out, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. We'll see you on the next tutorial.